Shalom, everyone who's just coming in. Let me admit everyone. Shalom, Lori. Hi. Hi, Amy. Shavuotov. Shavuotov to Riva and Aurelia as well. Shariam, Shariam Chavim, Rabbi, and everyone. Wait till we're all in here. Okay. I don't know like how you can get an information number for Israel because I have relatives that are right in Tel Aviv. I have um, no idea how to find them. Because I have relatives that are right in Tel Aviv. On just a second, I'm getting an echo, Amy. Let me fix that. Yeah. Okay. It may have been me. I just turned in the YouTube. Oh, okay. I I turned that. I can send you some resources after the service, okay, Amy? You okay, want to drop, thank drop you. I'm just the scared to drop. Yeah. Sure. Well, I know uh, yesterday at Shul, our rabbi said that they are having some power issues, and so it may not, it may be hard to get for anybody to get through. Um, and I'm, uh, so it may be a waiting game. Um, you can always download the um, the Homefront Defense app on iPhones, at least. I have it on mine. The Israeli government puts out that um, in English and Hebrew. Uh, but yeah, drop your uh, email in the chat. Okay, Amy? Okay, let's get this going. Shalom, everybody. Got your email. Thanks, Amy. Erev Tov. Boker Tov, Reba, and Aurelia. Uh, thank you, Rabbi Deborah, for attending. I know you're only able to be on audio. I appreciate you being here so much. My pleasure and honor, Rabbi. Thank you. Um, Erev Tov, everyone. Lori Bowers on Steam Shalom, Facebook, Sephora, Jennifer, Reba, Joanne. Let's get going. Uh, we have a beautiful service to commune with tonight, so I would like to share it with you now. Uh, let me get this up. Okay. All right. Welcome to Seem Shalom Online Synagogue. My name is Rabbi Elias Swang. I'm joined by Rabbi Deborah McKenzie and the Seem Shalom Congregation. Uh, this is a special Ma'ariv. We don't often have Ma'arivs on Sunday. I'm not aware if we ever had one before, but uh, I thought it was important that we get together today, uh, given uh, how much has changed since we last met on Friday evening. Um, I know that I've been having to spend a lot of time managing my feelings of despair, of anger, of anguish, of isolation, of powerlessness. And I think that it's a good idea for us to come together and channel that energy into prayer and into being together. So tonight we're going to do a Ma'ariv dedicated specifically to um, rekindling that, that resilience in all of us and sending out that healing energy to everyone who might need it right now. Esai el el harim me ayin me ayin tavo is free. Esai el el harim me ayin me ayin yavo is free. Esri. Mem Adonai, O Sei Shamaim, Vearetz. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where, from where shall my help come? My help comes from God, who made heaven and earth. My help comes from God, who made heaven and earth. Continue with Psalm 130. I would like to ask um, Sue Bowers, would you like to read the English for us? Sure. Uh, 
a song of ascents. Out of the depths I call you, O Lord. O Lord, listen to my cry. Let your ears be attentive to my plea for mercy. If you keep account of sins, O Lord, uh, Lord, who will survive? Yours is the power to forgive so that you may be held in awe. And I and my soul hope for the Lord and I await his word. I am more eager for the Lord than, the, than watchmen for the morning. Watchmen for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for the Lord is steadfast love and great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem us uh, Israel from their iniquities. Did you want me to keep going? I'm sorry, I was muted. Oh, uh, no. Welcome, oh. Rabbi Karen. Uh, we'll now continue with the traditional opening of Amar Reef. Vehu Rahum Yehaper Avon Veloyashit. Vehir bala shiva po velo ya il kohamato Adonai hoshia hamelech Amenu ve yom korvenu. I invite Rabbi Debor Mackenzie. Would you like to honor us with the with the Baruch this evening? Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach. Le'olam vayeh. Praise be the Lord, to whom all praises do. Praise be the Lord, to whom all praises do. Now and forevermore. Thank you, Rabbi Deborah. I'd like to welcome Rabbi Karen and Rabbi Ellen who are just joining us now. Shalom, I hope you are well. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Bidvaro Ma'ari Varavim Bechokma Poteach Sharim. We praise you, Adonai, by your command. Pleasant evenings appear with good judgment. You open gates to new awareness. You vary the seasons, setting the sky's light as you adjust the times to conform to their appointed tasks. You create day and night. You make for dawn and dusk. Now is the day over and you bring on the night. Yatseva Ot, Lord of nature and diversity is your name. O living present God, may you always govern our lives. Baruch Ata Adonai Hamma Ariv Aravim. And now, for perhaps one of the most meaningful Shema's we're going to have in a long time, I invite Rabbi Deborah whenever you're ready. Thank you. Everyone, this is. I don't know if there's ever been a more stronger time for us to affirm our faith than we are in the present. So please let us close our eyes or go into that zone and, and affirm our faith together. Shema. Is the right I don't know I don't know and 
Hear, O Israel, the eternal one is our God. Adonai, Adonai is one. Shem Kibod Makutole Lambay. The Ahaftai Adonai Elohecha, the call of Abacha, the call of Shacha, the call me Adecha. The Ayu had Varima Ele. Asher anuchi metzavacha hayom al levavecha bishinatam levanecha bibi barta bam bishitecha bevepecha uvletecha vaderet uvishachbecha kumecha ucharetam leot ayadecha. La yule totafo to bene neha. Uchtav tam al mezuzot betecha. Uvi sharecha. Le mantis kiru. Vasitem el komitzotai. Vitem kedoshim lelohechem. Ani arunai elohechem. Asher rotseti et chem, meretz mitzrayim, liyot lachem lelohim. Ani Adonai Elohechem. Adonai Elohechem, Amen. stop the share for a moment so that we can bask in the the realness of it all for a second um, rabbi deborah has a particular way of bringing me to the present moment when she sings the shema and uh, uh, felt it i felt it right now thank you rabbi deborah thank you rabbi Continue now with um, a relatively modern piece of liturgy that many of you know. This was written by uh, this woman after she was a little girl, Hannah Sezenz. She was a Ukrainian Jew who fought the Nazis and was eventually interned at Auschwitz, I believe, and killed by firing squad. But before she did, she was a poet. And this is one of the things that she wrote. Eli, Eli, shelo yigamel leolam, hakol vechayam, rishuch shel hamayim, berak hashamayim, tefilat adam. My God, my God, I pray that these things never end, the sand and the sea, the rush of the waters, the crash of the heavens, the prayer of the heart, the sand and the sea, the rush of the waters, the crash of the heavens, and the prayer of the heart. Ashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu l'shalom, uhamidenu v'malkenu l'chaimu fros aleinu sukat shalom, v'tamid yimloch aleinu, v'alkol amo Yisrael, Rabbi Karen, are you there? I would like to offer you the Chatsi Kaddish if you would like to, uh, if you would like to participate. I am here. Please. Can you hear me? Yes, thank you. Yit gadol v'yit gadash emei rabba b'yom adira hirute v'yom lich malhute v'chaye chon uvyo v'omei chon v'chaye d'cha v'yit Yisrael b'agala b'agala v'vizman karif v'yimru amein 
Yesh me rabba mevorach, the alam the al me al maya, yit barach, yit barach, v'yishtabach, v'yipar, v'yiroman, v'yidnase, v'yitadar, v'yitale, v'yitala, sh'medi kudushah b'rihu, leila mikol b'chata v'shirata, tush b'chata v'ne chemata, Da mi ram bi alma bi meru amen. Amen. Uh, I'd like to invite a volunteer to read the English translation. Uh, Amy, I saw your hand first. Magnified and sanctified to God's great name in the world, which God created according to will. May God establish the kingdom during your life and during your days and during the life of all the house of Israel speedily and soon and say amen. Blessed and praised and glorified, exalt, exalted, extolled and honored man, man, the magnified and Lord the, be the name of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, though God be high above all the blessings and hymns, praise and consolations which are uttered in the world and say amen. amen thank you amy now we come to um a slide which is very familiar to many of you this is from the sidua rabbi deborah mckenzie the modima naknu lach um one of the most i think important things to do on days like this days of such tragedy days of such despair is to reach down deep in ourselves and find gratitude for what we have and it often comes on the other side of the coin from what others don't have and what it makes us feel grateful now that we know how precious life is i'm grateful that i'm safe in my home for example i'm grateful that i can see aurelia's little hand saying shalom to me right now look at that I'm going to stop the share for a second. That's more important. Did you see Aurelia? Oh, she's left. She's gone. Anyway, Shalom Aurelia. Little babies free to be themselves with grandmothers like Reba to be with them. I'm grateful for the ability to be myself, to be safe in my home, the ability to have this prayer with all of you right now. I'm grateful for the, the privilege that I have to have so much hope in my life, that I can control so much of what I want to do, where I want to go, that I can be myself. It's very, very hard to remember that sometimes, not today. Today, it's very easy to remember. So I'm going to uh, recite now some of the Modim Anachnu Lach. Modim Anachnu Lach, Shatahu Adonai Eloheinu, Velohe Avotenu Leolam Ed. We proclaim that you are the Adonai of our God and the God of our ancestors throughout all of time. You are the rock of our lives, the shield of our salvation in every generation. We thank you and praise you for our lives that are in your hand, for our souls that are in your charge, and for your miracles that are with us daily, for your wonders and gifts that accompany us at all times, evening, morning, and noon. You are good and your mercy everlasting. You are compassionate and your kindness never ending. We have always placed our hope in you. Baruch atadonai hatov shmicha ulcha na'el hodot. For all these goodness and blessings, we shall ever praise and exalt you. May every living creature thank you and praise you faithfully. God of our deliverance and our help. Praised are you, Adonai, the essence of goodness to whom it is worthy to give praise. Another piece of gratitude, Rabbi Deborah, for writing this English translation that we all connect to so strongly. Uh, before we get into some of the more detailed stuff about the day, let's, let's do the Amidah together to acknowledge the footsteps that we're standing in. Adonai sefatai tiftach. Ufi yagid tehila techa, 
Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu, Velohe Avotenu Vimoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Velohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Velohe Leia, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vahanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vikone Hakol, Vezocher Chasteavot Vimahot, Maybe Geula leave Nevenehem, the man Shemo be Ahava, Melech Hoseo Moshiach Magain, Baruch Atadonai, Magain Avraham, Bezrat Sara, Atagi Borle Lamadonai, Mechaye Kolata, Rable Hoshia, Mashiva Ruach, Umarid Hagashem, Mechakel. Chaim bechesed, mechaye hakom berachamim rabim, somech noflim verofe choholim, umatir asurim, umekayem emunato, lishenei afar, michamochaba am givurot, umidahu melach, melech meimit, umekaye, Umatzmiach Yeshua, v'neeman atalechayot hakol, baruch atadonai mechaye hakol, or hametim for Ellen Rose and Tinoki in the Upper East Side, Lower East Side, excuse me. Here is the traditional prayer in Hebrew for the protection of the IDF. Um, which, if you're watching the recording later, you feel free to pause and read on your own. Today, though, I would like to invite a reader in English to read the, an English translation for us. Um, let me see, do I have a volunteer? Anyone want to, someone who hasn't read yet, would you like to raise your hand and... Um, look, yeah, Joanne, you are welcome. Prayer for Israel. May the everlasting who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless all the soldiers of the Israeli Defense Forces and all those who are protecting our people. May the source of blessing protect them and free them from all trouble and anxiety. And may all they do be blessed. May God send safety and redemption to all our soldiers in captivity. May the Eternal have mercy on them and bring them from darkness to light and from enslavement to salvation. Give them strength and save them. May the eternal listen to all of our prayers of all of our people. Thank you, Joanne. Amen. So uh, this is me about 10 years ago. And um, there's a special story behind this photograph that I'd like to share with you. You know how in uh, Jewish weddings, the, the second the ceremony is over and the height of love and connection is celebrated, uh, the glass is broken under the feet to remember the, the, the sound and the experience of the second temple being destroyed. We have the most amazing feeling on one moment followed by just the worst feeling to remember. And that duality is what we put in all of our weddings. This was a day where um, I had decided to become an Israeli citizen. I had gone to Israel after college, uh, just kind of on a whim, because uh, I wanted to hike the Israeli National Trail, which I did, and I stayed. And um, I really, I just fell in love. I found myself. I found my roots. I found my people. I found a purpose for myself. And I felt very much in flow, and I was very very excited. And so one of the processes of becoming an Israeli citizen is you go through a lot of bureaucratic stuff. You get um, you get a, a provisionary passport. At that time you did. And you also get this, which is called a Teudat Ole, or a immigrant handbook that is kind of the, it's what you present to get all of your immigrant benefits. And it's the last step in becoming a citizen is when you get this little kind of a passport. So the day that I found out um, I was going to get this passport, um, I was very excited. And I found out where the office was um, in Tel Aviv. I was in South Tel Aviv, and this was in the center. And uh, I found out what bus line I had to take. I think it was the 168. And um, Tel Aviv has amazing buses. 
and I took the bus and I got on and I took the bus all the way there and I got off and I walked inside and um, I went to the meeting. I got my booklet. I felt amazing. And as I was leaving on the TV in the lobby of the office where um, everyone was watching the news and the news was of a bus that had a lot of smoke coming out of the windows and people running out of it. And the front of the bus said, I think it was 168. It was the same bus line that I had been on about an hour earlier. And there was a bomb that had failed to go off, um, but scared a lot of people. And this was during one of the, at the time I called it a war. Today, I'm not sure I would call it a war given what's happening now, but uh, it was during one of the military operations where uh, Hamas was sending rockets and, and, and as many uh, infiltrators into the state as they could. And I found myself uh, uh, just a very, very small, small piece, small bit of time and space away from being at the center of, of one of the most ancient hatreds happening in my in, in, in the world happening in my life right now. And it was such a weird feeling that um, I almost was there. You know, at the same time, I, I got this piece of paper that signaled to me that I'm connected to my ancestors and that um, I'm part of an indigenous people who are returning home after 2000 years of injustice, slavery and dis and uh, dispossession. Uh, I was almost dispossessed of my life. Um, I don't know if anyone died that day, but it felt like I was almost dispossessed of my life. And that was a little moment that taught me a lot about what it means to me to be Jewish. It means to me to acknowledge that we are in this world, not because it's easy, but because our ancestors survived countless moments like this. There have been so many moments where darkness was all around us, where we were looking to the mountain, what mountains, wondering where our help will come and realizing it's not coming from any person. The only way help will come is from Hashem is from our faith that ultimately our God is a, a God of love. Our God is full of miracles that we can't even imagine. Um, one of the other miracles that I was thinking of today is that um, one of uh, the Israeli Navy is, I think has six submarines, dolphin class submarines that were made in Germany and essentially donated by Germany to the IDF, billions of dollars worth of submarines that are now keeping Israel safe. Could you imagine that 70 years ago, telling someone that Germany is helping to supply billions of dollars worth of naval equipment to help keep Israel safe from anti-Semites, genocidal anti-Semites? It's so important in moments. I remember how I felt when I took this picture. This was in my bathroom. I, want, I, I was not a big Facebook user, but I wanted to post something on Facebook to say, I, I know what it feels like to be a miracle. I, I figured it out. I'm, I'm part of this miracle. It's not because I'm me. It's not because I'm special in any way, but because I'm connected to this string of miracles that is Jewish history, that is the peoplehood of not just us, but every people who uh, has had to fight for their freedom has to fight a lot of disinformation, has to fight against just terrible, terrible brutality and lies. And, um, and we have to maintain our love at the same time. So for this photo, this photo to me is, uh, is how I feel today. This photo to me is, this is why it's important not to let all of the awful images that I'm sure you have seen, that I've seen, the videos of people being kidnapped uh, tortured little kids being kidnapped from their homes and tear and shot in front of their parents, uh, children being tortured, uh, you know, just the worst things you can imagine seeing b dead bodies being mutilated. I let myself see all of that yesterday and I wasn't sure if that was good for me. I thought, wow, this is so traumatizing to see these images. Is this good for me? And I woke up today and I said, well, this is good for me. The turning from the, from the awfulness into the love is what reminds me that I'm a Jew. It's what reminds me that not just Jewish people, but all people on the planet can tap into that resilience, that sense of determination to be uh, free from the evils and the cruelty that people who turn away from God have created on this planet. 
Uh, so part of why I wanted to do the service today was bring that awareness to this synagogue to say we are all part of this moment. This isn't just my moment in this picture. This is a moment we're all having right now together, a moment we'll remember forever. And it's part of what makes us who we are. And it's part of what attaches us to our ancestors. We know what our grandparents felt. Even those of us who might not have had Jewish ancestors per se, maybe we are converts. Uh, there's a Jewish line inside all of us, whether your, your, your ancestors practice Judaism or not. Those of us who are Jewish right now, we're all present together at the foot of Mount Sinai when the Torah was revealed to us. And we are, the Torah is being revealed to us in this moment as well. And it is an honor to be here with you as that, as that happens. So I wanted to say, um, that's what I wanted to say. I don't need to go into the details of what is going on. I think we all know. So uh, the other thing, let me see what's next. Before we do that, I wanted to share with all of you, I was lucky enough to be able to go to um, a congregation Sheriff Israel, which is the actually the oldest synagogue west of the Mississippi in the United States this morning, uh, where a lot of Jewish organizations were meeting and speaking at that ceremony was the mayor of my city. I'm in San Francisco, the mayor London Breed spoke as well as my uh, congressional representative, uh, the former Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, who gave a very meaningful speech. Um, and as soon as I figured out that it was gonna be a meaningful speech, I pressed, I took out my phone and I pressed record. So um, I apologize, I'm not a great cinematographer, but I wanted to share the seven minutes of what I could record with you. She starts talking about her father, who was a, a very pro-Israel congressman before this modern state of Israel even existed. And she talks about, um, I, it, it's more about the, the, the sense of power and purpose that she conveys to this room full of Jews. And I, if, you would if you don't mind, I would like to share that with you right now. Let me get that up. Okay. Thomas D'Alessandro was a New Deal Democrat elected in the 30s. He was a Shabbat boy, even though Italian-American. He spoke Yiddish, and he went on a campaign trail, and, one of the, and they showcased him, and he spoke with something, a group called the Benson Group, and they talked about establishing a Jewish state in what was called Palestine at the time, and also spoke out for the administration to take better action in regard to what was happening to Jewish people in Europe, especially Germany. When he was elected, he worshiped at the shrine of Franklin Roosevelt, but criticized the administration for not doing that much on those two areas. In fact, he spoke on the floor of the Congress and he would say, Mr. Speaker, I rise as a member of the, G the G Hebrew Men's Army, as a member of Congress, and talk about these subjects. So when I became speaker and went to Israel the first time, I met Israel many times, but the first time as speaker, the newspaper said, Speaker Pelosi comes by her support for Israel, naturally, and because of my father, that voice in the wilderness in the 30s and in the early 40s. In fact, in 1943, in March, he spoke on the floor of the house and said, Mr. Speaker, it was only Mr. Speaker then, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, over two million people have been killed by the Germans for what they believe. Two million people already. This information is well known to the administration and is in the archives of the Department of State. That was kind of a drastic statement for him to accuse the administration of. So in any event, it's been for a long time that we have had to speak for peace, for justice, for safety for the Jewish community. Uh, I don't have Jewish grandparents, but I do have Jewish grandchildren. In fact, most of anyone in the Congress of the United States. <laughs> and they, uh, they've had their challenges with schools, in Arizona, having to have extra protection, one thing and another. My son-in-law, Peter Kaufman, who was here, when he was a child, he was in a kibbutz 
Kisifun, right near the border, Kisifun. And my friend, who was with us on Tuesday, uh, Monday, we had a Democratic Party event, not, not to be political, but a Democratic Party event. She was here for that, and then she went to Israel, and she texted me just over the, well, yesterday, that her niece and nephew and their infant child had been murdered. And their other children, little older, were hiding in a closet. Eventually, they were rescued. So what does that say about these terrorists? Terrorism is about instilling terror, instilling fear, undermining your motivation to fight back, taking away your hope. But that will not happen. That will not happen. This terrorism, these are acts of cowardice, attacking grandmothers, infants, children, families, kidnapping, and the rest. These are acts of terrorism and acts of cowardice. I want you to know that in the Congress of the United States, and we've had many calls yesterday and this, uh, this morning already, there is unity, bipartisan unity, in support of what we need to do, whether it's militarily, whether it's diplomatically, whether it's financially, to help our friends, the Israelis. that they would have the cowardice to attack when there was a festival of peace celebrating what Sukkot, observing that these young people, and you see the film of them invading that celebration. Outside the circle of civilized human behavior, that's what they did, was outside the circle of civilized human behavior. There had to be no doubt in our country and across the world. This is totally, totally, not only unacceptable, but to be condemned, but to be condemned. So we go from here. Some of you have asked me what's gonna happen because of what's happening in the Congress. We'll work that out. And now we have further mo motivation to do so sooner because we must show but our president spoke so beautifully right from the start, continues to reinforce the message. Our secretary of state, our leadership uh, in, in the Hakeem and, and Chuck Schumer and the rest, and my uh, representing all of you in this regard. This assault on these children, on these grandmoms, on these families is something that takes us to a different threshold of how we deal with this subject. So we want to be peaceful, we want to be effective, we want to be unifying. And Michael Pappas has told me as chair of the, the chair of president, what do I call you, Mr. President? Chair of their interfaith uh, conference that the council in, in San Francisco, that as we gather here on this Sunday morning, across our city, Christians, Catholics, Christians and all, are also praying for the people of Israel and for peace, and for peace. So again, we have some of our differences of opinion as to approach and this or that. That's to be put aside for our strong unity coming together now to say very clearly to everyone, personally, politically, officially, diplomatically, militarily, in every way. We stand with Israel. Okay. So that was this morning. Um, uh, it was, you know, having such a powerful politician come and say such things was, you know, very healing for the people in the room, you could tell. Um, and so I wanted to share that with you because it's it's such a feeling when non-Jewish people in positions of authority uh, have so much empathy for us. You know, it's we, we, we wonder if does anyone see the suffering? Some people do. And some people have the moral clarity to be able to to 
you know, to say so publicly. So happy to share that with you. Uh, now let's uh, continue with the prayer for healing. Let me find my uh, slides here. At this time, um, we're going to pray for the healing of everyone on the planet who needs it. Uh, people, families of those who are being held hostage, I believe the number is about 130 or more uh, Israeli citizens and soldiers are being held hostage right now in Gaza. We're going to pray for the healing of all of the hostages as well as the hostages' families. Praying for the families of the more than 700 uh, Israelis, Thais, Japanese, Nepali, uh, Germans, British, French, and American citizens who were murdered yesterday, the single deadliest day in Jewish history since the Holocaust. We are going to pray for the healing for the entire state of Israel as this awful war is just beginning to happen. And we're also going to pray for the everyday Palestinians who are being used as human shields by murderous despicable people and uh, the cross the, the the fact that they're caught in these crosshairs we're going to pray for them we're going to pray for all of the Jewish people all over the world who are watching and feeling fear in their hearts and not knowing what the future holds for us as a people we're going to pray for all of our allies and our friends and our non-Jewish family members who are trying to find ways to support the Jewish people, to express their solidarity with Israel, maybe even in anti-Semitic circles where they don't know exactly how safe it is for them to speak out. We're gonna pray for their healing as they try to find that strength. Uh, we're gonna pray for the healing of absolutely everyone who needs it. I invite everyone here uh, to write in the chat on Zoom, on Facebook, on, on YouTube, if you have any specific names you would like to mention, uh, I'm happy to read those names for us. Uh, and then we can pray for healing collectively. Let me look here. We have Amy, who is suffering from a bad back from your car crash. I remember you talking about that, Amy. May you feel rested. Oh, I would like to add um, Rabbi Deborah's mom who is having some health issues, I understand. We love you, mom. Rabbi Deborah's mom is kind of like the mom of the synagogue. You know, she's that presence that's always like, I always, I imagine that she's always about three feet behind Rabbi Deborah, sitting there, listening to the Torah study, feeling proud that she raised such a daughter, such a leader. So we are praying for the healing of uh, mom Mackenzie as well as uh, Dorothy, Marlene, Mary, Bill, Robert, Jean, David, Jimmy, and Eddie. Uh, Rabbi Karen is praying for Sid and Joyce and Josh. Uh, on Facebook, we have, oh, no names yet on Facebook. Let me look over here. Oh, hi, YouTube. There's a lot of people here. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Rebecca. We're praying for Jamie, Louisa, and cousin Evan. Uh, we're praying uh, from John Singh. Oh, it's John Singer. Hi, John. Uh, we're praying for Bill and, Le and Layla from Rabbi Ellen. Thank you, Rabbi. Um, we continue to pray for Jill Bot Mary and Martin Ben Wynn, as well as Ziona and her husband Tom, uh, Toby and Sapora. We're also praying for uh, Al's wife, Tracy, who is suffering from complications from her concussion. And um, let me see, am I forgetting anyone in our, in our world? If I'm missing, if anyone would like to just unmute and shout out a name I'm missing, if you're having trouble typing, feel free. You missed the poor, she put granny, granny herself, she pray here. Thank you, thank you, Amy, I see it now. Granny, yeah. Franny. Uh, herself and all who suffer PTSD, as well as IDF soldiers who are being wounded as we speak. Okay. All right, so we can now pray. Uh, Rabbi Karen, would you like to lead us in the in uh, as much of the Misha Beirach in English or in Hebrew as you would like to lead? Misha Beirach avoteinu nechol Avraham I don't have, you, you're not doing the same one. 
No, I know. Sorry. I don't have that here. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm doing the Debbie Friedman. That's one. fine. We all know the Debbie. You can see. Hold it. on. Yeah, but I, I have to see it. So hang on. Okay. I'm going to pull up my own sheet. Okay. Just give me a second. That gives me some time to check on the Facebook, see if we, oh, Andy is here. Okay. Uh, let me, before you continue, Rabbi, let me yeah. read what Andy, Andy wrote. Andy says, um, thank you for praying for the innocent ones caught up in this and being expected to hate. I have extended family throughout and I couldn't eat yesterday, also having nightmares. So we're praying for you, Andy, Andy that you may find comfort as quickly and fully as possible. Absolutely. Uh, Andy is also praying for my Jewish and Muslim family members going through misery right now. I won't put their names for security purposes. I understand. Praying for your family members, Andy. All right, Rabbi, whenever you're ready. May the source of strength who bless the ones before us, help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing, and let us say, Amen. Mi shebe rahimo tenu mechol habraha liavo tenu. Bless those in need of healing with refuah shlema. The renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. Amen. I, I've told you this before, Rabbi Karen, but when I come to your services on Tuesday, I think the sing my favorite single moment is when you say, "May the source of strength," and you say "strength" with such strength. Um, you sound like a teacher because you are a teacher. Yes, but we need that strength now. Yes, thank you. Oh, who say shalom bimromav? Who ya say shalom aleinu? Ve'al kol Yisrael ve'imru imru amen. Ya ase shalom, ya ase shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Ya ase shalom, ya ase shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael. Um, don't mean to put you on the spot, Lori Shevsky, but would you like to read the English translation for us at the bottom of the page? Sure. May the one who creates peace on high bring peace to us and to all Israel and to all life on earth. And we say, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lori. The Alenu, please rise in body or in spirit for the Alenu. Alenu lishabeach la don ha kol, a tate gedulad leotse brechit, shelo asanu kikoye haratzot, velo samanu kimishpachot adama, shelo sam helkenu kaem, vegohor alenu kerhol hamonam, vanachnu korim, umishtahavim umodim, ifne melech malcheam lachim, hakadosh baruchu, kakatu betor tehad naim loch, leolam va ed. Bane emar, Bahaya Adonai, the Melech al Kulha Aretz, Bayomha hu yehie, Adonai echad, Ushemo echad. Sapora, if you're available, I know you're at a wedding, but would you, are you able to read the English translation on the right for us? I think Sapporo might be in a noisy place. That's perhaps not possible right now. Okay, let me ask uh, Rabbi Ellen. Shalom, Rabbi Ellen. Are you available? Would you like to read the the English translation on the right? I don't see an English. Oh, this it's it's a little light. It says, "Let us now praise," and then it's in. in let us now praise the Sovereign of the Universe and proclaim the greatness of the Creator who has set us apart from the other families of the earth, giving us a destiny unique among the nation. We bend the knee and bow, acknowledging the supreme sovereign 
the Holy One of Blessing. Thank you, Rabbi. We have now come to the Mourner's Kaddish, uh, where we will be praying for the souls of everyone who has lost their lives over the last few days. If you are observing a yard site or you are in personal mourning, uh, you, I'm going to welcome you to share the names of those you are remembering in the chat on Zoom or on Facebook. Uh, I'll ask the rabbis here if you have any particular names. Um, uh, you're well, uh, you can unmute and share those names with us. Do you have any names, Karen? Rabbi Karen? No. Rabbi Deborah? Rabbi Ellen? No. Okay. So we will now continue with the Mourner's Kaddish. Uh, Rabbi Deborah, if you're available, would you like to, can I ask you to, to read the Kaddish for us? Yes. Thank you. Yitkadal, Yitkadash, Shemei Rabba, Be'alma di v'rach rute, V'yamlich malchute, V'chayichon v'yameichon v'chaye, D'chobe Yisrael, Ba'agala u'vizman, Kari v'imru. Amen. Yehe Shemei Rabba, Mevorach le'olam u'lame al-maya. Yiparach v'yishtabach v'yipoar v'yromam v'yitnase, V'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal, Shemei d'kudsha b'richu, L'ela minko Yerachata v'shirata, Shush b'chata v'nechemata, D'amiran b'alma, V'imru, Amen. Yehe shalama rabba min shemaya, V'chayim alinu v'yal kol Yisrael, V'imru, Amen. Ose shalom b'mromav, Hu ya'ase shalom, Alenu v'yal kol Yisrael, V'yal kol yoshvei tevel, V'imru, Amen. Amen. And for the English, uh, Lori in Arkansas, would you like, are you available? Would you like to read the English for us? Yeah, of course. I'm Thank trying you. to see if I can see the whole. It's kind of small, I, I know, depending on your screen. Yeah. Magnified and sanctified be God's great name, the world created according to divine will. And may the Holy One rule the kingdom in your lifetime and in your days, and in the lifetime of the entire house of Israel, speedily and in the near future, and let us say, Amen. May God's great name be blessed forever and for all eternity. Blessed and be praised, glorified, exalted, and uplifted be the name of the blessed Holy One. Yeah, where we are. I'm sorry, I flipped the slide. Do you have to start at the top again? Um, honored, elevated, and extolled above the blessings, hymns, praises, and consolations which we utter in the world, and let us say, Amen. May there be abundant peace from heaven, from heaven and life for us all and all Israel, and let us say, Amen. May the one who makes peace in the heavens make peace for all of us and for all of Israel. It cuts off again. I'm so sorry. No, it's it's okay. It says, and for all the world, and let us say, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lori. No need to apologize. I, I appreciate you participating. I've missed you. It's nice yeah, to it's see you. It's been a while. It's good to see you as well. Yes. Thank you for doing that for us. Of course. So the final slide tonight is Shalom, Salam, Peace. And look at this, this beautiful land. This beautiful place. If you squint, you can see a bunch of Jews wandering through that Sinai desert, complaining to Moses, were there not enough graves in Egypt that you should make us do this ridiculous walk? We're still wandering in some ways, but it's, a, it's an honor to be wandering with all of you right now. And that is our service. Thank you for this. I think we needed it. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for, I needed it personally. I needed it. Just like, if I know my relatives are okay, I'll be happy. I'm praying it's okay. I'm very <laughs> blessed.
Thank my you. friends and my friends are, are safe. I'm very, very grateful for that. Thank you, um, everyone. Thank you, Rabbi, thank you so very you. much. Lori Shevsky, who's, who's sitting with you on the couch? It's my wife, Tammy. Hi, Hi Tammy. Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Nice to meet you. Hi. They Hi, look Rabbi. so much alike. They look nice almost to meet like you, sisters. Finally. I know. I was, like I was like, is that her wife or is that her sister? <laughs> yeah, her sister. Hard to tell. <laughs> no, they look like sisters. I swear you both, they do. both look like your twins. Sort of. <laughs> it's, it's that Santa Rosa Mediterranean climate that it, it keeps you looking fresh and, you know, so it's lovely to meet you, Tammy. Nice Thank you for coming. You, Tammy. Nice to meet you, nice Rabbi. To meet you. And Ellen Rose, I only see your forehead, but I know you're, all of you is here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, you uh, your face. Are you Thank okay? you for this service. Uh, I'm a little better. Thank you. Good. Good. Yeah. Glad to hear that. We, oh, we're praying for the healing for Ellen Rose, too. I forgot, Ellen. Let's yeah, insert okay. Ellen Pray, Dara, 15 minutes back, Pray, okay? Okay, Pray, Ellen Rose, she's on my list anyway, so. And, um, this was very meaningful. And yeah, it was. It was, very, was beautiful. I think we all need to share it with everybody, yes. Yeah, I think we all needed it. I really do. I know I did. I'm, I know, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful that we're, we're able to be together. I've had an interesting couple days. I, I um, A friend of mine has a, a contact with uh, the local media and they often call him to report, to at, to talk about any, whenever anything's going on in Israel. And he wasn't able to yesterday. So he referred them to me and I gave an interview for the local TV channel here, Cron 4. And uh, I talked about what we talked about just now, love and resilience and peoplehood and what it takes to get through moments like this and how we've created a tradition out of that and how the hardest thing is to remember not to become your enemy to not demonize and all this and all they took from what i said was oh he's so sad and oh this is such a big day i was a little bit tokenized and reduced to just um you know another sad jew so um, I, it, was a, it was a moment where I realized, you know, some, not all meetings are, are community. Not all people are, are there to really commune with you. And uh, so it was really important to me that I, I kind of palate cleanse my experience and uh, be here with all of you because I knew that we would feel, we would feel together what I wanted to feel yesterday. Um, Do you have a recording of, of your interview? I do have a recording, but I'm not sharing it because it's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, well. come on. No, it's, it's, shout it to the world. Yeah, we'll see it. It's, it's, they they interviewed it. not just, I shouldn't have mentioned it. I'm sorry. It, it, was, it's really, it was really just a little, you know, soundbite sort of thing. But it was my first TV interview and I, I was a good learning experience. And so I intend to be, I have a good relationship now with the reporter. I have not complained. You know, I'm not doing what <laughs> I might have done 10 years ago. So, um, <laughs> you know, so we'll see. That picture we'll, didn't even look like you. You know that? that did I not know. Well, like I had hair then. Yeah, you had so. blonde hair like mine. See? Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I was born, I had bright, you know, and I, when I was little, I had bright white hair. I was a platinum Marilyn Monroe blonde. And slowly now I what happened? darker over time. Yeah. What happened to your hair? Oh, uh, you know, it's testosterone, Y chromosome is what happened to my hair. Uh oh. What is that, Rabbi? Why don't you go get a color like I do? Toby no? knows what I mean. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, good evening, everybody. I have to get off now, so but be well. Shavuot Tov. Shavuot Tov. Let's keep those everyone. prayers going. We Thank will. you. So much. Thank you for coming, Rabbi Karen. Thank you. Thank you. So tomorrow it will be Rabbi Deborah's service. Tuesday will be Rabbi well, Karen's. Wednesday is with me again. Thursday is with either Rabbi Shush or uh, Rabbi Ruthie. And then Friday we're all together. So I look forward to seeing you this week. Yes. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Good night. 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 Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you to Annie for keeping Joanne company. And Rabbi, regarding your picture, 
You were adorable well, then, you're you. adorable now. Thank you. Thank you very Aww. much. Hi, puppy dog. Hi. <laughs> Isn't Annie cute? Oh, she's so cute. Hi, Annie. You keeping mommy company, huh? Yeah. Is that yeah. what you're doing, huh? Yeah. Oh, we have to keep Carol in our press because she went into another rehab. Carol Slosky. Okay. She's in another rehab now. Thank you for, for that. Okay. We'll take care of yeah, we prayers. found out this night. Good yeah. night, everyone on Facebook and Bye on YouTube. Everybody. And everyone here. Tell me I got his name. I'll put it right on Tell my list. Bye, Sue. Bye, Reba and Aurelia. Bye, Amy and Joanne. Bye, Reba and Aurelia. I can't even see Aurelia's face. <laughs> I can't see that cute little girl.